Welcome to Beside the Burn for Friday the 16th of June. Over the last three weeks we've been listening to Peter as he's been preaching on the day of Pentecost, explaining to the people why the Holy Spirit has come. And yesterday we saw the response of the people. Their hearts were cut open and they came to Peter and the other apostles and they asked, what must we do? And today... As we reach the end of this section, we find out what it is that the people must do. And therefore, we find out for ourselves what we must do as followers of Jesus. And Peter here continues in his sermon to tell them precisely what they must do. And he explains the gospel so simply. There's nothing complicated in what Peter is about to do. We can all understand it, but it is very difficult to do because it means that we must submit ourselves to Jesus Christ. We must turn away from the ways of this world. So what does Peter say? Well, in verses 38 and 39, Peter replied, Repent and be baptised, every one of you, In the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. Peter's message is simple. Repent and be baptised. Every one of you. It's not just a, a, a thing that the whole group can do. This is individuals coming. Every single one of them has to repent and then be baptised. They come and they call on the name of Jesus because there is no other name that can save them. And they come repenting and baptising and receiving forgiveness for their sins. And it is only to Jesus, it's only in the name of Jesus that these things can be found. It's only by coming to Jesus that we can find forgiveness for our sins. The world today tries to tell us to be the best that we can be, to live our best lives. But that's not what Peter says here. Peter says your best life is not good enough. You need to turn completely around. You don't need to make yourself better. You need to turn away from self and point towards Jesus and allow Jesus to forgive you for your sins. Jesus is the only one who can make a difference. And if you do this, Peter says, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And this is the gift that they have seen before them. This is the power that has come from on high. This is God coming as Holy Spirit, taking over lives and transforming lives. And we receive the Holy Spirit by trusting in Jesus. We can't separate the Holy Spirit from Jesus or Jesus from the Holy Spirit. They come together along with God the Father, the triune God, the three in one. And Peter goes on to say, look, the promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off. Anyone can come and repent and be baptised and receive this forgiveness. You no longer have to be brought up in the uh, nation of Israel. You no longer have to be a Jew. Anyone can repent and anyone can come and receive salvation. For all whom the Lord our God will call. It is the Lord our God who calls people to himself and we simply respond. And this is the message of the gospel. This is what is important for us to understand. Peter then goes on and say, With many other words, he warned them and he pleaded with them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. The world around them was corrupt. There were many who were not interested in God. There were many who did not want to trust in him. There were many who did not want to accept him, much like our world today. But Peter pleaded and said, look, save yourselves. You need to do something now before it is too late. And the response was, well, simply incredible. 
The response was overwhelming. As the Holy Spirit had come and moved among those people, so many came to faith. Those who accepted his message were baptised and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. There were 120, we're told, that had met together waiting for the Holy Spirit to come and now 3,000 were added to the number. That's an incredible multiplication. That's a lot of new people to cope with and to organise. And yet that is the blessing that the Holy Spirit comes. And in times of revival, that's what the Holy Spirit does. He moves and he calls people to the Lord. And as we look at the world around us and society today, we need another revival or we need Jesus Christ to come. And so we pray that the Holy Spirit would work in our lives. If you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Messiah, then today is the day to save yourself by coming to Jesus Christ and repenting and being baptised and asking him for forgiveness. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our Saviour, Jesus Christ. We thank you that if we repent and are baptised, that our sins are forgiven. And so, Lord, we pray that we might turn to you and instead of trying to save ourselves, we might accept your salvation. Instead of trying to do things ourselves, we might trust in you. For, Lord, we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Beside the Burn. Just to uh, remind you as to what's going to be happening over the next few weeks. Uh, Very soon we'll be heading into July and into the summer. And there'll be no Beside the Burn uh, during July and August. uh, But we do plan to be back again in September. And I hope that you'll join us. But we'll continue uh, for the rest of the month uh, looking at the Book of Acts. uh, And then we'll take a little break over the summer.